The following was published in 1923. It is Tom Norman's letter to the World's Fair regarding Joseph Merrick, the Elephant Man. Sir, being one of four persons who, just over 40 years ago, that had a business interest in Joseph Merrick, not Merrick, spelled M-E-Y-R-I-C-K, not M-E-R-R-I-C-K, the Elephant Man, the other three being the late George Hitchcock, Little George, Sam Tor, comedian, and Sam Roper, at that time a licensed Victuala in Belgrave Gate, Leicester. I wish to point out some mistakes in your last week's issue in the account given of him by Sir Frederick Treves in his recently published book. It is only the errors that I wish to rectify here. All or any other detailed reminiscences of Merrick from his life in Leicester Workhouse until his being sent to a convalescent home by the late King Edward and Queen Alexandra then Prince and Princess of Wales, can be seen in my book of life entitled 65 Years a Butcher, Farmer, Showman, Auctioneer. Joseph Merrick was undoubtedly suffering from a disease known in the medical profession as elephantiasis, but then the public in general did not know that, and he was not exhibited in an empty greengrocer's shop. That shop was next door to the one he was exhibited in, and kept by a man named Geary, an Irishman in Whitechapel Road. The shop on the other side of the one we were showing was, and still is, I believe, a pawnbroker's. The premises used for the exhibition of Merrick had for several years previously been a waxwork exhibition owned by a man of the name of Cotton. I came to London and rented it from him and removed Merrick thereto. And at that time, there was every weekday morning and afternoon up till about 3 p.m. a number of students with no hats on and white coats coming in and out of the London Hospital opposite for the purpose of what I then presumed to obtain some refreshments, fresh air, etc. And after a few had, out of curiosity, visited the exhibition, the wonderful sight of Merrick soon got spread about amongst them. And no doubt, that is the reason of Sir Frederick's visit himself, with the result he gives in his book. The showing of Merrick never appeared to any of us as being in any way detrimental to him. I mean painful. He was never turned out of the workhouse. We made an application from the proper authorities for his discharge. And after giving the guarantee required, we obtained his release after which he was not only much better in health, but, as he frequently stated, much happier. He would never listen to the idea of returning to the workhouse. Moreover, he was never exhibited excepting in three towns before coming to London, and I am positive that he never entered a caravan in his life. It is doubtless true that he never knew a parent's affection. But I can honestly state that, as far as his comfort was concerned, while with us, no parent could have studied their own child more than any of all of the four of us studied Joseph Merrick's. Your report from the book states, Sir Frederick Treves said that, quote, his miseries on exhibition continued for 21 years. End quote. I can prove, without a doubt, that Merrick's period of exhibiting did not last but about 30 months. That is all I wish to state here, with the exception that the big majority of showmen are now in the habit of treating their novelties as human beings, and in a large number of cases as one of their own, and not like beasts. Thanking you in anticipation, yours, etc., Tom Norman, the Silver King. This was published in World's Fair, February 24th, 1923, on page 5.